In this video, I will show a simple example to illustrate how the INT Viewer platform can be easily extended using Python. In this case, there are four seismic lines displayed on the viewer, one with the original data and three where I have applied different AGC parameters on the fly. The Python script I will write calculates the difference between two datasets. Let's go over the script now. First, I retrieve from the context an array containing the two input layers used for my new display, the original and the enhanced seismic layers. The arrays are then populated with the data extracted from the current display windows. The difference between the arrays is computed and displayed in a new window. Let's now select two input layers on the desktop. Right-click and the contextual menu shows the Python routine that I just created. Later in this video, I will show how to link your scripts to INT Viewer. For this case, I like the AGC window with 100 samples best. It enhances the deep signal without increasing the noise level in the shallow section too much. You can modify the script to adjust the window size or to make a different calculation, and changes are effective immediately. You can get creative fast with INT Viewer. To link the script, save it as a .py file under a folder named Contextual Cross-Section Seismic Layer Notes under your designated Python Scripts folder. Let's move to the INT Viewer window to register your Scripts folder in Tools, Options, Environment, and under the Paths tab, connect to the Scripts folder here. Then go to the Python Scripts tab and add the available scripts. If they are not showing, you may have to refresh from disk. INT Viewer now adds it to the contextual menu on the desktop. Imagine what you could do with this kind of flexibility in your Seismic Software Toolkit. To learn more about INT Viewer, go to int.com.